we are ready to start part two of tonight's chat. This is part two of workshop number 133. And the first part of tonight's workshop was all about being in awe um, when you have, you know, when you're doing your activity. Thanks, Barbara. And the second part is all about apples. So today, um, again, I will just point out in case you're watching this separately on YouTube, that this is part of the Freestyle Smart Points program um, for WW or Weight Watchers. Or if you're a civilian, if you're not doing WW, these are delicious. So even if you're not following the WW plan, if you just love apples, you're gonna to wanna to hang out tonight. Okay, so this is August. Today is August the 4th. Next month begins apple season here. So, and there will be apple everything. We even have a place in Pigeon Forge called the Apple Barn. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think every, maybe not every single food item, but almost every single food item on their menu has apples in it somewhere. Like they have apple fritters and they have apple, like apples, wood wood bacon and apple chicken and all. I mean everything has apples in it so it's kind of a big deal I know there are a lot of places around the country that you know celebrate have apple you know festivals and apple orchards and things and um, there are places around here to go and get bushels um, of apples or you know partial bushels of partial bushels of fresh apples so I'm trying to get you all ready for apple season because in case you haven't figured this out or if you are brand new Oh, Barbara has lived here for 40 years and she's never gone there. Oh, well, someday when we have like a million points left, we'll have to go. Yeah, Barbara, it's, yeah. Oh, and Debbie loves the apple butter from the apple barn. I'll keep that in mind. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to get you all ready for apple season. Because um, in case you have not been doing WW, apples are zero smart points. Um, they come in all flavors, sizes, textures, varieties. Um, I try to buy the firm apple. So I do love um, I do love Honeycrisp. I do love Jazz apples. Um, today, oh, I like the Pinata apples that they have at Trader Joe's. Today... I did not keep the bag. I don't remember what they were called, but but they were like a jazz apple. Um, but anyway, but I like the firm ones. I do not like, me personally, I do not like mushy apples. I love Granny Smith apples. So everything, everything that I'm going to be showing you how to make tonight is with a firm apple. So it doesn't matter what kind of apple that you like, but they're all going to be made with a, a more firm apple. So no gala apples and um, none of the, you know, the yellow or red delicious, no, um, yellow delicious, you know, nothing kind of, sorry, I'm going to call them a little bit softer or mealy. Okay, so all of these will be made in the air fryer. If you do not own an air fryer, first of all, you need to get one. Simple Living Products makes an amazing, amazing air fryer. Um, and I do have, I think there's a link on the blog. It's www.ifyouhaveanegg.com that, um, that has a link to, you know, an affiliate link to um, Simple Living Products for the air fryer that I have. Okay, but if you don't have an air fryer, you can modify all of these to use in your oven. I will tell you, though, the beauty of using the air fryer, I have had two air fryers going now, mm, probably about an hour and a half, and I'm not sweating. So I didn't have to turn the oven on. I'm not having to wait on it to cool down. I didn't have to use 6 billion gigawatts of power, you know, to get everything heated up. Just used the two air fryers. So, and the temperature in here is just like it was before I started. Okay, so first things first, wash them. You are going to wash the apples. You're going to core a hole. I recommend, uh oh, where is it? And I'm sorry, it is dirty. Actually, it is filthy nasty because I've been coring apples all afternoon. So I do recommend going ahead and getting an apple core, maybe a cleaner one. Just kidding, but I have been doing apples all afternoon. Okay, so I would do recommend going ahead and get an apple core. Um, I got mine at um, Bed Bath and Beyond, and um, I'll try to remember to share an affiliate link for uh, for an apple core. You know, maybe later, maybe down in the comments somewhere. But do get a good one. So this one's got a pretty decent handle. You can see it's you know pretty firm grip. It's got little teeth on the end of it. And um, we had gotten my dad when he loved fried apples. We had gotten him a little, a little one um, for like a dollar ninety nine or something. Ugh. Okay, you know when you say you get what you pay for. We got a dollar ninety nine apple core. It was horrible. Go ahead and get you a good one. So this is a good apple core. So you're gonna wash your apples. Go ahead and core them. These. Um, are the ones that I got today, jazz apples maybe. And so I went ahead and cored three of them and put them in the little pan that came with my Simple Living Products air fryer. 
there's about a tablespoon of water in the bottom. You don't have to do that. For some reason I do because, I don't know, I just think it kind of steams them a little bit while it's baking them. Use some kind of nonstick spray. Lightly spray around the top and a little bit in the hole. These three that we're gonna make, um, that I'm gonna put in right now, these are, these are all, all three of these recipes are ones that you have to cook the apple for 10 minutes first and then we're gonna add the ingredients. So these are gonna go in the air fryer on 320 for 10 minutes. I'm gonna give you two others in a second. Please don't get confused. I will try really, really hard to get the recipes up soon. One of them already is the baked, just the plain baked apple. The air fryer baked apple is already on www.ifyouhaveanegg.com. You can go ahead and go there, search air fryer or baked apple or apple, um, and it's going to come up. So I'm going to put these in 320, but we're going to do 10 minutes because these are going to get stuffed here in a second. So let's take the one out that I put in while we're in the first portion of our first portion of our chat or of our workshop. So let me grab it. And I usually use tongs to get mine out because the pan is going to be, it's going to be super hot. Okay. And I'm going to stick this one in. Again, just going to drop it in the basket and then remember to scoop. I didn't scoop when we were doing a video the other day and it went irk and stopped. So you're going to scoop and put your basket in, push this button, temperature, we're going to turn it down to 320. And because these are going to get stuffed, we're only going to put it on 10 minutes. This is what I do if I'm just doing a baked apple. This what I'm going to show you. So this is just a baked apple. It's just an air fryer baked apple. This is what I do like if I don't have time to babysit it or I'm not doing a stuffed one or whatever. This one literally you can put up to three of them in this size pan. Um, and you put, you could, or you can just put them in a, in a um, like an oven safe dish if you just want to do one. And core it, spray it with a little bit of nonstick spray, and then I sprinkled some Trivia Baking Blend and some cinnamon on it. If you're going to do that, and then I'll go hop in the shower because it will literally cook itself. So that, if you're going to do just a regular, just a regular baked apple, it's 320, 320 degrees for 20 minutes. Um, let me cut into this and show you what the inside of it looks like. So this one is really good, really good and tender, nice. You know, it's just a really nice baked apple. And um, it tastes really good with some um, non-fat plain Greek yogurt that's had, had a little vanilla and maybe some more sweetener in it. Um, it's, you know, it's really good with that. Um, and it cooks itself, you know, so it's really nice. Or you can put a little bit of um, like, oh, granola, you know, or something like that in there. Okay, this one, and I'm just flattening this out a little bit before I show it to you all. Okay, this one, on the other hand, it was cooked for 320 for the 20 minutes, but, let me get my tongs again. This one, I cored the whole. I cored the hole and then I cut it in half and I laid the halves out like this. And then this is what we were doing when y'all first came to the chat. So cored the hole, cut it in half, laid the halves out flat. Again, I put about a teaspoon of water in the bottom, in the bottom of, let me see if it's cooled off enough. Yeah. I put about a teaspoon or I'm sorry, about a tablespoon of water in the bottom of this pan. And then I set the apples in there, but this is what we were doing when y'all first joined us for the chat. Remember I said I had to turn around and I had to get, get this started or we weren't going to get everything done. This one is, this one is a baked apple, but it has the brie. So at the very beginning of the, of the chat, um, I was showing you Trader Joe's mini brie bites. And again, don't tell Casey that I didn't get to finish my accent nail because I feels naked now. Okay. Anyway, but these are Trader Joe's mini brie bites and they are, no, it is not at all like a baby bell. Not at all. It's brie. And if you've never had brie, brie and apples is like, whoa, it'll blow your mind if you ever have it. But I buy these because A, I'm not going to go through an entire thing of brie. Brie comes like in a wheel or you can get it in wedges. It's a fancy cheese. It's a fancy, fancy cheese. Um, and I'm not a big fancy cheese eater, but I do love brie. Um, but when you get them in these little ones, the mini brie bites like this, um, then you can you can just use one and you don't have to worry about the rest of it getting gross. And these are good 
individually wrapped like this. These are good through like this today that I bought. These are good through March 20th of 2020. So I have like what, six more months, seven more months to eat these. Um, so I don't have to rush through it and, and that's not gonna get gross and I'm not gonna throw them away because they're not cheap. But it's three smart points for one of these, zero smart points for the apple. But look how pretty this is, baked. So, oh, I hope this turns out okay. I hope you can see this okay. So this is Brie, oh, that's super hot. Mm, mm. Um, okay, Carol, don't worry about no Trader Joe's. Go to any grocery store. Maybe, probably not Walmart, I don't know. I don't know about Walmart, but I know Publix has it. Kroger has it. Pretty sure Ingalls has it. Might be with some specialty cheese. Um, but this one, I'm gonna use the tongs this time. But again, just cord the apple. Um, and yes, it is a French cheese. And if you ever get a chance, guys who don't have a Trader Joe's, if you ever get a Trader Joe's, um, if you, I mean, if you ever get a chance to travel to a Trader Joe's, I'd go, I would go, I would definitely go. I know people that drive three hours to go to Trader Joe's and they take their insulated bag with them and a cooler, you know, and some other bags. I mean, really, it's kind of worth it. It's really kind of worth it. Um, and Loretta wants to know, how do I store the leftover apples in the refrigerator? So I have all various and sundry little containers with lids. Um, and they'll stay for a couple of days, a couple of days. And yes, Stacy, this cheese, the brie, because it is a sturdier cheese, um, it will, you do leave it on there for the entire 20 minutes and you're browning the top of it. So I really hope y'all can see that better than what it looks like on my end. Um, but anyway, so that's the half, that's the half of the apple. I'll take a picture of it and I'll put it on here for y'all. But that's the apple halved and the brie halved okay but and this is not this is not zero points at this point but then brie is best with honey apples and honey so oops hold on let me get my honey on here so this is like a half by the time i get done this will be like a half a teaspoon of honey and i'll just drizzle that on there so this is like a four point so this is like a four point apple, you know, when you get done. But my gosh, it is like dessert. It is absolutely, can you see that? This is absolutely dessert, dessert. And hi, Nancy, who are we saying hi to? Who's Nancy? Yeah, so anyway, absolutely delicious. Okay, let's see how much longer our stuffed ones have. Okay, they have four minutes. So I'm gonna tell you what's in the stuffed ones so that we can move quickly when it's time to move on to those. So I'll take a picture of that for you all and I'll post it here in a few minutes and I'll get a quick sip of my tea. And really those brie bites, if you don't wanna to go to all this, you know, cooking, I keep them at work sometimes and I'll just cut up an apple and then I'll just take a little knife and spread it on just the fresh apple. It's really good, really good. And yes, Loretta, it is perfect for breakfast. Perfect. Okay, so we're gonna make three more after these come out. Remember, you can just make a plain one and the plain one just had some trivia baking blend and some cinnamon on it. 320 degrees for 20 minutes and it was just a cinnamon apple. Then we made a brie apple that was also 320 minutes, 320 degrees for 20 minutes. But that one I cut in half and I opened it. Now the cinnamon sugar one, the kind of, you know, just the cinnamon apple one, you can just eat it as a cinnamon apple. You can eat it with the um, yogurt on it like I was talking about. Um, really good if you make it hot, if it's hot, 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 and put a scoop of like Halo Top um, ice cream on there. Mm -hmm. It's really good with the whips, like with the, um, have y'all seen these? Hold on. really good with like these on there so this one is Hershey's let's see Hershey's it's milk Hershey's milk chocolate dairy-free whipped topping and it's one I think it's one smart point for up to two tablespoons of this if I'm not mistaken and there's a there's also a Reese's peanut butter cup one but these this is really good if you want it to be more of a dessert you can put some ice cream or something on it um you can just eat it as a plain baked apple or it's really good really good if you chop it up chop it up like i'll make a couple of the cinnamon apple ones ahead and i'll chop it up and put it in some oatmeal or i'll chop it up and put it in some oatmeal and bake it and make it into like a um, like an apple cake you know kind of thing okay but this is going to start beeping here in a minute so let's talk about what's going to go in the next three so the next three that we're making 
is, um, oh, Stacy's been putting that whip in a sliced banana. Awesome. So the next one that we're going to do is going to be a cheesecake one. And it is, this is, for the sake of time, I went ahead and mixed it up. But this is one tablespoon of room temperature fat-free cream cheese. It is one uh, tablespoon of sugar-free cheesecake jello. So like that, not prepared, just the powder. Um, and then it has like a half of a teaspoon of the Trivia Baking Blend, and then it has like a half a teaspoon of vanilla. So that's gonna go in our next one. And then I have about, I don't know, it's about a quarter of a teaspoon of crushed graham cracker crumbs to go on top of it. So that one's gonna be like a cheesecake one. Then the next one is fat-free ricotta cheese. So y'all know how much I love my fat-free ricotta cheese. And I had to go somewhere else besides Trader Joe's to get it because they have abandoned that idea. But anyway, I get mine at Publix. So this is about a tablespoon and a half of fat-free ricotta. And then it has one tablespoon of, um, my kind is, and I've put it up, is True Nut, the powdered peanut butter. So it doesn't matter what brand it is, but this it's about one, it's about a table, a little over a tablespoon of fat-free ricotta, a tablespoon of, mine is the True Nut powdered peanut butter. So it doesn't matter what brand it is. And then it has about 15 of the Lily's chocolate chips in it, the mini chocolate chips. So it has about 15 of those in there. Um, so each one of these should come out to like a point to two, to maybe two points. Whoop, and those are ready. Okay, they're ready to have the second half put in. So. Okay, so right now, and see, and use your tongs, use something. Don't let me catch you picking up a 320 degree pan. Uh, yes. Kathy wants to know if Trivia Baking Blend is different than just plain Trivia, and it is because it does have a little bit of sugar in it. So it is Trivia and a little bit of regular cane sugar. So it kind of gets rid of that, you know, taste. Okay, so don't let me see you picking up one of these a 320 degree pan with your hands. So that's what they look like so far. Hopefully you can see that. Okay, so we did already did these 320 degrees for 10 minutes because the stuff that we're gonna put in them, if you if you let them go the whole 20 minutes, it would explode. Okay, so the first one, again, we're just gonna take the fat-free cream cheese, room temperature fat-free cream cheese, and um, sugar-free Jello cheesecake powder, and a little bit of vanilla. Okay, and this isn't gonna be pretty because you have to kind of cram it down in there. So I'm gonna put this in, this one's thicker, so I'm gonna put it in the one with the biggest hole. Oops. Hold on, I've got an apple flipping on me. And if you have trouble with your apple slipping like that, you can put, like if you have trouble with them sitting still in there, you can put, um, I mean, you can take the bottom of the apple and kind of, um, and just like barely slice off a little bit and it'll make it stand up straight. The same thing that we did with the spaghetti squash a couple of weeks ago. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of smush all that down in there. Come on, going in. Okay. So this one's got just a tiny bit sticking out of the top, but that is okay because that will brown. So that one is the cream cheese one. Then I'm gonna take the one that is ricotta, fat-free ricotta cheese and the um, peanut butter powder. And I use the True Nut brand. You can use whatever brand you want to, but I use the True Nut and it also has a little bit of a coconut it's like it's true nut coconut. Okay, and I'm gonna cram this in here. And again, you're just trying to get it down in the apple. And um, if you have any parchment paper um, cupcake wrappers, those work really well to keep it from, um, those, keep, those work really well to keep all this from oozing out the bottom, but I didn't have any, so. We're just gonna have to deal with it because I'm usually the one that's eating these. So I'm usually just scraping them out of the bottom, you know, and eating them. Okay. Pardon me while I lick my fingers. Okay, so that one was the ricotta cheese. Let's see, it's ricotta, fat-free ricotta cheese. It does have some Trivia Baking Blend. It has um, the True Nut powder, the peanut butter powder, and the baking chips. Okay, and then the last one, and I didn't save this one for last because I was trying to tease you all. It's just because it ended up being last. So you remember my candy, 
my candied bacon recipe. So, don't know how many of y'all remember that, but I made a batch of the candied bacon. So, here that is, and that is already on the blog. So, that's www.ifyouhaveanegg.com. So, that is the candied bacon. You're going to make a batch of it, and then you are going to crumble it. So, you make it extra crispy, and then you're going to crumble it up and put it in here. You know, kind of cram and it's going to be the equivalent of one slice of bacon, but it's actually two pieces of the candied bacon because the candied bacon, remember, is cut in half. So that's on www.ifyouhaveanegg.com. Okay, I'm going to kind of cram that in the top. Then I'm going to take a little bit more of the sugar free carry syrup. <coughs> and I'm going to pour that on top of it. Okay. So now I have my three apples bacon, um, peanut butter chocolate chip, and cream cheese. I'm gonna put them back in the air fryer. So these are gonna go, actually, you know what? Don't kill me, but I'm gonna take a picture of that real quick. So let's see, Alice, Alicia says the cream cheese, I think. What about the cream cheese? What about the cream cheese, Alicia? I'm sorry, that's just, just too pretty to not take a picture before I put it in there. Sorry, y'all get to see that picture later. Okay, so remember to scoop. When you put that back in, we're gonna put it back on 320 for 10 more minutes. So it's still a total of 20 minutes. So the cinnamon sugar one, the cinnamon sugar one, this is the one that I make if I'm just gonna get in the shower, <laughs> just let it be done when I get done. Oh, yes, 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 the graham crackers. Sorry, they go, they do go on. Sorry, I'm back with you. I can't see everything. Um, but the cinnamon sugar one, 320 degrees, 20 minutes. And Joyce, we're making yummy food. So, yeah, you're going to have to go away and come back, Joyce. I'm just kidding. But so the cinnamon sugar one, that's the one I make when I'm getting in the shower. And I just want some cinnamon apples. Trivia baking blend, cinnamon, a little bit of nonstick spray. Put it in there. Does your basket have a crisper plate in it? I don't know what a crisper plate is, but it does have, I mean, it's got a basket. So it's a basket. And then I'll just put that in the basket. But so that is sitting in the basket. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Let me give you some of my tea. Oh, and Susie says the ricotta one is like an apple cannoli. Didn't know that's what I was doing, but sure, did that on purpose. Totally did that on purpose. But anyway, so this one, 320 minutes, 320 degrees for 20 minutes. Go take a shower, go do something else, come back 20 minutes later. And then this is the one that we started right before, right at the beginning of the chat. Again, wash and core your apple, slice it in half, lay it open face, you know, kind of like an open face sandwich. And oh, Loretta wants to know, can you use the regular baking plate in the, in the air fryer? So sure, if it'll fit. So I have, and I'm not trying to sidetrack, but let me show you this other crock that I use. If I can grab it quickly. So this, this is just a little baking crock that I got at, um, hmm, I think I got it at Home Goods, and it's just a little baking crock, but it just needs to be oven safe. So this one, I can set if I'm just making one. Um, Let's see, Trish wants to know, can the Trivia Baking Blend be used in drinks and other foods? Yeah, I use it in a lot of stuff. Hello, Stacey. But anyway, so this is a, so this is just a regular, <coughs> excuse me, crock baking dish. And if I'm just making one, I'll make it in this. And y'all probably, when you start looking now, you're gonna go back and see pictures. You're gonna see a lot of pictures. No, it's stoneware. Loretta, this is stoneware. This is called, this is nothing fancy about this one. I got it at, um, I think Home Goods. Um, Chantal, it's a freezer, microwavable oven, and dishwasher safe. So this one is like crockware. You can see that. So um, anyway, so if I'm just making one, I'll make it in this. So the next one we put in, cut it in half, open face. We cut a piece of the Trader Joe's mini brie bites. We cut that in half and put half on each one of the apple halves. Baked it again, 320 for 20 minutes, um, and then drizzled some honey over the top of it, about a quarter of a teaspoon of honey over the top of it. 
Mm, perfection. So those are really good, really awesome, really easy. So think about it. We are making, we'll see, we will have one, two, three, four, five. We will have five apples finished here while we're doing the chat. So how easy is that? How easy is that? And Loretta has some, one, something like that, but she said she got it at a cooking party. As long as it's oven safe, that is perfectly fine. Um, but how fast is that? I mean, how easy is that? And then I'm gonna take this one because now I'm gonna have four other apples, actually five other apples because I've got another one in the refrigerator. Um, but now this one will probably get diced up and I'll put it in some oatmeal or you know something. Maybe have that for, I won't have it tomorrow because I'll have Alyssa, but maybe have it you know, for some oatmeal. Or the, um, it's really good after you bake these to slice it really thin and then make the bacon apple pie wego that's also on www.ifyouhaveanegg.com. Perfection, because it's bacon, it's apples, it's a wego. Yeah, and they are good cold too, you know, Susie. They're the best hot with some ice cream on them, not gonna lie, but they are also good, you know, they are good cold. They're, they're well here, this one's cold because I made this earlier. So delicious, soft, it tastes like a Cracker Barrel apple, except without all the sugar. The, so Carol wants to know the points. The apples, that are just the cinnamon sugar apple, zero. It's absolutely zero. And Kathy, you're right, Alyssa might like it. She's not a big oatmeal eater though. So I mean, she would eat the apple for sure all day long. So that one is zero. The cinnamon sugar one is zero. The one with the brie on it, um, because the brie is three points and then it has a drizzle of honey on it, that one is about four points. So it just depends on if you use the whole thing of brie, if you just use half of it, if your apple's a little bit smaller, you might just use half of that. Uh, the one that is the cream cheese one is going to be like two, depending on how much cream cheese you end up using and how much of the how carried away you get with your little tiny thing of graham cracker um, crumbs. The one that has the ricotta cheese, let's see, it's got ricotta cheese, trivia, the peanut powder, and the chocolate chips is one to two, depending again how much how much you um, you know use of that. And uh, yeah, Loretta says she needs to make it for her grandkids, but for sure for her first. Exactly, exactly. And then the one that has the bacon in it, the candied bacon, um, and that's on www.ifyouhaveanegg.com. It is one smart point. So if you, um, even for two pieces of it. So if you use that and then the extra little bit of the sugar-free um, syrup is zero. So that's gonna be like one smart point, one to two, depending on how much bacon you use. But we have, Shoo, four minutes left. Okay, so we have five minutes left in our chat tonight, but we have four minutes left over here. Thinking about maybe taking them out just so we can see. Oh yeah. Okay, these are already looking good enough. Eh, no, I'm gonna let them go. I'm gonna let them keep going. Okay, so what questions do you all have? Cause I'm gonna make you stay. I'm gonna make all y'all hang out hang out with me and stay and see how this turns out. So what questions do you all have for me? What other questions besides how many points? And remember, it's freestyle smart points. Um, just got a lot of weird questions. I think there must be a whole lot of people who had done um, regular smart points. Must be a whole lot of them rejoining. Um, so I think they're gonna like freestyle a whole lot better. So yeah, cause who doesn't like a good apple? Okay, so I'm getting lots of thumbs ups and lots of hearts. Um, I think y'all are you know pretty excited about this. Um, Carol for reheating. Um, sometimes, sometimes I do just eat them cold. Um, if I reheat them, okay, let's see. And I'm sorry, if I reheat them, sometimes I'll pop them in the microwave for just a second. And then sometimes I'll add a little bit more water to the dish and put them back in the air fryer on 320 for about five minutes. So, okay, so Christina says she just turned this on. Did you make this in the air fryer? I'm going to look into it, getting an air fryer, have an instant pot, and I cannot see the whole thing. Um, definitely get an air fryer. I have a Simple Living Products air fryer. And if you go to www.ifyouhaveanegg.com, we do have an affiliate link on there so you can get the one just like mine. And Susie wants to know if she did this in the oven, how would she cook them? So it's 30 minutes in the in the oven, Susie, like 350-ish. Um, so it's like 350 um, and Jackie, yeah, Granny Smith would be awesome. It would be awesome. Um, and Teresa wants to see the inside bottom of my air fryer basket. Okay, well, I'll attempt to do that after I pull all this out. But um, 
but anyway in the oven you can totally do it it's like 30 minutes on like three I think it's 340 to 350 so the temperature has to be a little bit higher and the time has to be a little bit longer and um, and if it's in the oven I wouldn't walk off and leave it and go get the shower <laughs> that's one of the things I like about the air fryer so when the 20 minutes is up when I'm doing the air fryer apples which again are on www.ifyouhaveanegg.com if I'm doing those and I go get in the shower when they're done it shuts itself off um Oh, uh, Christy, so I'm doing a different nail. Normally, Christy wants to know which nails I do as my accent nail. So, because these are the only nails I had left out of that set, then the, it ended up being my middle finger. It ended up being this one and my thumb. This is what's gonna be the accent this week. But normally, I do like, for some reason, I don't know why I do my pinky and this one. So, and Kathy wants to know why did I use the little pan just to prevent the mess? Yes, so if I did not use the little pan, Kathy, I would have the bottoms of those would be all over the bottom of my pan. And Stacey wants to know if I cored them all the way through or did I leave some at the, um, at the bottom of the apple? So if you can tell me how to not core all the way through and still get the core out, Stacy, then I am willing to listen, but I have not ever been successful doing that. So that's why I said if you can get some of the parchment paper, because it is safe to use in the air fryer, if you can get some little parchment paper um, cupcake holders, um, or I probably just need to make some. Okay, we have one minute, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab them. Okay, and it says we have one minute too. So I'm gonna pull these out. Remember, I'm gonna use my tongs, or you're gonna use something else to get this pan out. I don't want to hear anybody sticking, you know, grabbing a 320 degree you know pan with their bare hands and somebody don't remember who wanted to see the bottom of my air fryer basket so I've been cooking in this for like two hours so I have not washed it out yet so please forgive the fact that it has stuff in it and don't tell the people at Simple Living Products but anyway that is what the bottom of my air fryer basket looks like and it has been used and um, I was keeping track of it it has been used in excess of 100 times and it still looks that good I um, mean it looks that good because I pre-seasoned it okay so as gently as I can without messing these up and I know I'm keeping you all past nine but oh well this is delicious so you need to hang on and Dusty's over here dying because one of these has bacon in it but anyway okay so this one this is the cheesecake one so can y'all see that oh I got a little bit of strike got some schmutz on there that's the cheesecake one this one is the ricotta cheese one. What did I accidentally make it into? A cannoli. I'll put it on this end just so that the colors balance each other. And then this one that I'm gonna put here in the middle is the maple bacon. So we have, in that short of amount of time, oh, and here's the little graham cracker crust, the little graham cracker for the cheesecake one. So we'll just sprinkle that on there. Okay. So in that short of amount of time, while we were having a chat, totally easy. I mean, so e really seriously, so easy. So we have, this one is the cheesecake one, if y'all can see it. The, oops, let me turn around this way. The middle one is the maple bacon. And then the last one is the ricotta cheese. Okay, so I will take some better pictures for you all um, later when it is not time for us to go, but this, Last thing I want to show you, this is the reason I use the little pan, or I use my little crock. So here's the bottom. I did not want all of that in the bottom of my air fryer. So, okay. So you all have an awesome week. Don't forget to do your homework. Um, I hope you all will try some of these. And if you do, please, please, pretty please take some pictures um, and tag me in it. And Christina, it is a Simple Living Products Simple Living Products 5.8 quart um, air fryer. And if you go to www.ifyouhaveanegg.com, there is an affiliate link at the top. And then in most of the air fryer recipes, there um, there is an affiliate link there too. So you can get the exact same one that I have. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna get busy eating these and I'll take some pictures for you all. So don't forget to tag me in your homework. Um, if you're watching this later on YouTube, please, I think it's on this side still. If you're watching this later on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to, oh, and if you subscribe, click that little bell because the bell will tell you every time that there's a new video. Did not know to tell you all that. But anyway, so subscribe um, and 
me think. I think it's subscribe, and then it's like watch the next video. I may have those in the wrong order. And then if you want to look at the spread shirts that we have um, with our, you know, with kind of our egg lady stuff on them, um, that is also right there. So don't forget to subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube. Don't forget, if you're trying to join the closed group, answer the three questions. If you're inviting a friend to join the closed group, tell them to answer the three questions. Anyway, so this is all smelling really good. I'm dying. I'm going to go eat some of this and I'll get some pictures for you all. But because I have bacon, Dusty's right here. Oh, and he just got his haircut. So y'all have to see his new haircut. Come here, buddy. He looks so fancy. Ooh, he looks so fancy and handsome. So here's Dusty with his new haircut. Smelling the bacon. Loving it. Okay. So everybody, tell you, I'll tell you good night. Dusty said good night, everybody. I will see you all next week. Have an awesome and a, an amazing week. I'll see. Oh, Sandra can only see part of the chat live now. Oh, well. Okay. So everybody tell Dusty good night. He will see you next week. But y'all have a great week, and I'll see you later. Good night. Bye.